Today we're here to show you how to change the seals in a double vane turn act, which is either a 90 degree rotation or a 45 degree rotation. The tools you'll need will be an Allen wrench to be able to take the bolts out and a pick to change the seals out. On this one I've already loosened the bolts enough to get them out, so I'm going to take the bolts out and pull the cap end cap off. I'm going to pull the rotor assembly and tooth out and then remove the head, the rod head from the vise. When you're using the vise, you want to make sure you put uh, something to protect your end caps and your tube while you're doing this. First thing you want to do is disassemble the tube and a rotor assembly. You got two urethane stator seals and two they'll run thrust washers on the end. So what you want to do is make sure you remove them. And you may have to use your pick to grab them and pull them out. And then the washers on the end need to be very careful, but you need to pull them off. So what you want to do is make sure you take these off and change them out when you do the rest of the seals. You just got to get up underneath there and get, get it started, then you can pull it off. The tube, same way, you got two urethane seals, you want to be able to pull them out. On your end caps, you have a can o-ring, you have a quad ring that you want to remove. Then also a rod seal in the back. Same thing on both heads. So you got your tube seal, your quad ring, and your rod seal on the back side. Here we have a standard double vein seal kit which has your two end cap tubo rings, your rod seals, your quad rings, and your four urethane seals, and also your two thrust washers are going to the end of the rotor. And it should come with a packet of grease. All right, now when you take it apart, you want to make sure if it's dirty inside that you wipe it clean. You want to get all the old grease out as best you can. Get it out of your grooves. So you start with a clean surface. Same thing on both end caps. Remove all the excess old grease that you can. Inside the tube, you want to do the same thing. Remove all the old grease just by wiping it with a cloth, wipe it clean. In the rotor, you want to do the same thing. Get the ends of it clean too, so you have a clean surface to work with. Then you can start replacing your seals. You take your urethane seals, you press one end in, press the ends down to make sure it's all secure. Do it on both ends. There's your rotor. On your tube, you do the same thing. Press it in, press on both sides, do the same thing on the other side, there's your tube. On your end caps, we're going to start with a quad ring, and the quad ring has holes on one side of it. You want to make sure those are up. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the quad ring in the groove, we're going to get it to seat the best we can, and then this is where the pick comes in. You want to stick the pick down beside the quadring and get all of the air out from underneath of it the best you can. We'll do the same thing with our other one. We're going to make sure the holes are up. We're going to get it in the groove, get it seated the best we can. We're going to use our pick to get all the air out from underneath of the quadring. Then once that's done, we're going to use 
our tube O-rings, put the new ones in. Make sure they're seated in the grooves real well. Then we're going to grab our shaft O-rings. We're going to put them in the back side. Then this is where we'll use our grease. What we'll do next is we'll get a little grease. We want to make sure we put some, a little bit on the back side and on the face of the head. You want to make sure you get grease in these little holes in the quadrant especially. You want to make sure those are filled and then smear the rest on the face like that. Get some more grease and do the other one. The important thing is make sure you fill those holes on the quadrant best you can because that's where your grease is going to stay and make it a long life. Then what you do is you'll start greasing your tube and rotor so you can assemble them. Put some on the seals. On the inside of the tube. Same thing with the rotor. You want to make sure you grease your seals good. Both sides. And then the radius. You want to make sure you grease it. Now the easiest way in a double vein tube to assemble it back together is to put your tube on the edge of a table, put your rotor in, work your radius into the seals and then what you want to do on the other side is press down with your thumb and start to push your tube and rotor together. Then you'll place it on the table and press down and what you want to do is work it back and forth until you get the seals to stick up on each side of the tube. Your rotor seals need to stick over the side of the tube and your stator seals in the tube need to stick over the ends of the rotor. So if you'll see here and here and here and here, they are all showing over the ends of the rotor and the tube. You want to make sure that is done. Then you want to place your Delrin spacers back on each end of the rotor. Then you want to take a little more grease And put it on the ends of the rotor and the ends of your seals here. So when you reassemble it, everything will be greased and ready to go. Alright, so what you do is you'll stick your rod head back in the vise. If you have a keyway, your keyway will always go on your left of the air inlet hole. You just push it in there until it drops down. Place your cap end head on top. Seat it. Then you'll put your bolts back in. You'll tighten them down. Now it's important when you're tightening these back down that you tighten them in a pattern to where you're not taking everything down at one time. So you just want to get them down from corner to corner and work your way down slowly. So again you go corner to corner. You don't want to tighten any one of the bolts down all the way tight. This helps see everything evenly so you don't crush the tube or pinch off a seal. And once you have it hand tight, you need to uh, use a torque wrench to torque it the rest of the way. Your seal kit will come in with instructions for each size and tell you what torque to torque it to. And that's the basic way to change a seal kit in a double vane rotor. 
double vane actuator.